and I think we are live. So, this is uh, my first stream on the YouTube channel. Uh, so, if you're watching this, welcome. Thank you for checking out my videos. Um, I'm doing this video because this is the first time I think I've ever talked on a video on YouTube ever. Um, I've been meaning to try and figure out some stuff to do, to post, figure out a way to work on my videos. But um, I think there's like 200 something videos or 100 and something videos on YouTube of on of, on YouTube right now of mine. And none of them have me talking in them. So this is my voice. Um, I also needed to find something to post today. So I figured I'd give this a shot. Um, there's enough reasons to try and do it now. Uh, so welcome to the channel. Uh, I'm Nathan Skinner. Some of you know me, I'm Nate. Um, on my channel, we have a lot of vibraphone videos, mallet station videos, uh, beat videos, cover videos, original music, um, stuff from my band Vibe Beat. Um, the video today that I posted was from Vibe Beat. Um, we have been working on a series that we recorded in my house. Um, we recorded the audio and the video. We used like four cameras. We had the Zoom H6, which is what I'm using for the audio right th for this right now. Um, so we'll see uh, how the audio turns out. I guess there's a chat. So if the audio is terrible, let me know and I'll uh, I'll adjust it. Um, I got a little light going. So that's why the light on the face. But uh, like I said, there's a lot of vibraphone videos, uh, malice station videos and a bunch of other stuff as well. Um, I am pretty much, if I'm not writing a song or making a song every day, it's every other day. Um, and if I'm not writing a song, then I'm working on a song that I've already done. Um, you know, for instance, I'm mixing all this stuff for vibe beat right now, um, which is going to be probably five or six tunes. And so I'm just getting to post the first one this week and, it took me about a month to get that first video mixed because I don't really know what I'm doing uh, on mixing. Um, and just working through that and giving it to other people to take a listen to and, you know, doing more YouTube searches and more uh, things like that to figure out how to make it better. Um, you know, it's been very time consuming. So I'm, I'm going to be posting that now. Um, sort of lost my train of thought. But uh, just to talk about some of the, the things on the channel, um, usually, well, now officially, every Monday, um, I post a Solo Vibe Monday uh, video. And most of the time, that's me playing a jazz standard uh, on vibraphone. Uh, sometimes it's me playing on Mallet Station, and sometimes it's a clip from uh, a Vibe Beat performance um, of a Mallet Station solo or something. Um, but now that I'm posting every day, I am trying to make sure that the, the Monday video besides today, um, is a vibraphone video. Uh, so this week I've already got a few things, uh, already recorded. I recorded a bunch this weekend and, uh, I got, a the new, uh, Lil Nas song, Lil Xan, Lil Nas. No. Yeah. Um, the rodeo song. Um, I really like that. Uh, so I did a little uh, solo on that. And then there's a uh, Nicki Minaj song from Birds of Prey, uh, which I saw last night, which was a really good movie. I, I really enjoyed it. Um, uh, there's a song from that that I also did as well. So there's two. And then I have another solo vibe video in the can. And then there's the video I posted today. So there's already four videos uh, that I'm going to be doing this week, plus the video on Friday, which I'll be recording which will probably just be a vibraphone thing. But then I'm also going to be trying to post uh, two beat videos this week. Um, so that'll be me playing vibes or Malice Station over one of my songs. Um, and you'll see the whole recreation of on Ableton Push and all the other MIDI controllers and stuff. Um, oh, I'm just saying at the bottom there, there's a little, there's a knob for the volume. Well, not a knob, but an indicator for the volume. So I'm going to turn up just a little bit. Let's see, now you hear, I hear the room. Oh, that's my computer. Wow. Okay. Well, excuse me. I'm new to this. Um, I'm going to leave it where it is for now. And like I said, if if there is some issue, I'm going to say it in the chat. Let me know if the audio is bad. I know you can hear typing. 
um, because this is my, like I said, first time live stream. I'm using the H6, so I think it'll be all right uh, for the audio. I might figure out another camera. I'm just doing the the laptop screenshot right now. Um, so, like I said, so we have Solo Vibe Mondays uh, on Mondays. Uh, some of the other things I'm doing are those covers from rap tunes. Um, I've done a Kendrick song. I've done uh, Lil Nas. That's coming up. Um, Oh, the baby. We did one of those uh, last week. Um, and then uh, so all my two camera videos. So a lot of them you'll see I, I film with the Zoom uh, Q2N. That's the one that I usually film from just the front. And uh, that has excellent audio, excellent video. If you are a musician or somebody trying to record uh, on a budget, I would definitely recommend the Zoom Q2N. Um, it's just so great and so easy to use. Um, I, I, it's awesome. I love all the Zoom products. Um, but on the two camera videos, I also have a uh, Panasonic Lumix LX10. And uh, that's that higher quality camera. Um, the audio isn't quite as good, but I have the audio from the Zoom and I have H6 and a whole you know microphone setup. So I'm not too worried about the audio from the uh, Panasonic, but the Panasonic is great and it looks great in low light. So uh, if you're, you know, most of the places I play are in a club or in a restaurant inside low lit, you know, very rarely is it outside during the middle of the day with it bright. Um, so I wanted to get a camera that uh, was pretty good in the low light uh, conditions. And the Panasonic Lumix LX10 is is awesome. Um, so when I when I have those two camera shots, I have Megan Cavallo. She's doing my my video. We, we sort of tag team these products. And, or sorry, these videos. And uh, sometimes I'm on my own doing them and I just set them up and they're stationary. And sometimes you can sort of tell that there's somebody running the camera. So I try and tag her when I can. She's doing uh, more work um, with, every, with every project that I'm doing. So that I, I'm really glad to be working with her on that. Um, so we have the two camera shots. Ah, so the, the big project that I'm working on right now, which I sort of mentioned earlier, was uh, the Vibe Beat um, 2020 Home Sessions. I think it's yeah 2020 home session i think is what we call it. 2020 home sessions i think that's what the hashtag was and that's just uh we were all in town at the beginning of the year um if you don't know my band vibe beat uh we have our youtube channel vibe beat you can check it out okay awesome thank you for letting me know the audio is cool awesome that's cool that's first youtube feedback awesome um so if you don't know my band Vibe Beat, we have a YouTube channel. We're on iTunes. We're on Spotify. We're, you know, everywhere that you can put something. Um, and we released our first record in November, and that was EP. It has five tracks on it. And I'm very proud of that. Recorded it down in Miami with uh, Spam. Uh, Spam's incredible. Um, and I, that was just a, such a learning experience doing that record. Um, so we have our own YouTube channel. We're playing around Florida. We're doing a couple shows. We're doing three shows, actually, in February. And one of them sort of a secret show that I can't really talk about. And I hate when people say that. So I'm not just like saying that to seem cool. Uh, I really wish I could say something about it, but I think it's sort of the rule that you can't. So I don't want to you know, piss anybody off. Um, so if I could, I would. I really I, I'm, I'm not going to say that about too many things. And I really don't enjoy saying it about this. But um, we have a show coming up that I can't talk about. We're doing a birthday party in Del Rey uh, for a very close friend of mine. Uh, at death and glory that's going to be really cool uh and then we're also playing down in fort lauderdale for an arts festival um we're going to be collabing with some artists they're going to be painting we're going to be playing it's going to be going back and forth uh so i'm really looking forward to that too so we got three shows coming this month and then we're also playing uh down in miami in april um at lignap uh that's a monday i think it's like the first or second monday in april it's like april 6th or april 9th something like that um i'll get those dates up um but we're, we're doing a lot of stuff with Vibe Beat. That's my main focus um, to, to grow the band and to be playing. You know, we were lucky enough to be able to take a trip up to Nashville uh, that Pearl helped us put together. Uh, Pearl's one of my sponsors and they, they've been absolutely phenomenal. Can't speak highly enough about them. Um, great team. Great team. Um, so, you know, we, we've been up to Nashville. We played at Rudy's Jazz Room. So we're, we're making a couple steps, you know, uh, here and there. Um, but I'm definitely trying to push forwards on that every day. Um, and when I'm not doing that, I'm doing, you know, stuff on this channel and I'm working, uh, on, uh, videos, songs, recordings, you know, everything that I can photos, everything. Um, and, uh, 
anyway, so we have, I've sort of gotten off topic. You got to excuse me. This is my first time doing a live stream. So, uh, you know, I, I got to learn. <laughs> um, anyway, so we have a YouTube channel uh, and that project that I'm working on, that 2020 home sessions, um, we are probably going to be releasing like one track a month, maybe. And this would be the first track. So beginning of February, we're, we're doing our first track and that's rip off. Um, I have a couple clips posted up. The track will be available on Bandcamp, our Bandcamp page, um, probably this week. And I'll, I'll link to that down below. I can be one of those people now. Um, so we're going to be uh, releasing a track once a month, and that'll be videos as well. Um, so that's the main thing that I'm mixing right now. So I'm trying to do a video every day on the Nathan Skinner channel, uh, whether that's Vibes or Mallet Station. I'm trying to do a video at least once a week on the Vibe Beat channel. Uh, and then, like I said, we're dropping those tracks once a month. And I think by the time summer rolls around, we'll have those tracks all completely out. Um, and then we'll, we're going to do another round of recording. Really, my goal with the band right now is to record as much as possible, uh, because every time we sit the, in, into the studio and we and we record, it's a huge learning experience for all of us. So I figured let's do as much of that as we can release as much content as we can and uh, get out there as as much and as fast as we can. Um, so that's sort of the short term and the long term. I've talked to you about the Solo Vibe Monday videos, talked about Vibe Beat. Um, I will probably do a Mallet Station tutorial, not tutorial, but like sort of review, I guess, Mallet Station review. Um, a couple of people have asked me about that. I get a lot of questions on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, everywhere. So if, if you're somebody that has asked me a question, I have not responded to that. I am sorry. And as of right now, um, send me that question again and I'll feature it in the video. Um, again, sometimes it's just really hard to get back to everybody and, and, you know, still be posting, but I also don't really like social media, but you have to do it. So, you know, if, if I haven't answered your question, I, I do apologize. Uh, there are a lot of people asking questions from, you know, how does the mallet station work or how would you compare it to the mallet cat or, um, you know, the name questions like, how does it connect to the computer? Like, you know, stuff that seems like it would be real, really easy. And then there's more complicated questions as well, but sometimes it's just hard to keep up. Um, so if you do have a question about the mallet station, you have something that you want me to, to answer, or you have something that you can't figure out, let me know. Um, I'm going to be doing a mallet station uh, review. Um, the short review is I love it and it's awesome. Um, the real talk is yes, there were some issues with it when it was first released. Uh, and Pearl has been working their butts off to, to fix those problems. And, uh, I am extremely happy with the work they've done on the mallet station. There's a new firmware that's out now and, uh, it fixed just about every little issue that I've ever had with the mallet station. Um, the other part of that is you have to practice the mallet station. You have to work on your setup. I, I that is when I first got the mouse station, I was just saying that all the time. I got to work on my setup, man. I got to work on my setup. I got to work on my setup. I got to work on my setup. And uh, because I worked on it all the time, it, it sounds pretty good and works the way I want it to. Now, the, yes, there were issues, but I wasn't having any of the, not nearly as many of the issues that other people were having uh, with them because I was really, really getting deep in there with the programs that I'm using with it. And, you know, I, I, I sort of I understand how to use Ableton. I understand how to use MIDI controllers. For some people, it's a, it's a newer thing, so you might run into more problems uh, than a more experienced user. So um, there, like I said, there were some issues with it, but overall, I am extremely happy with it. And like I said, after the 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 firmware, whew, I, I was at I was at PASIC uh, in tw 2019, a couple months ago, and I sort of sneakily did a uh, sort of side by side. I was at the Pearl booth and I was playing on that and they were sort of testing a new firmware and I was like, wow, it sounds great. And that's not even new one that they have now. Um, and then I ran over to the, uh, the mallet cat booth and, uh, the guy didn't know who I was and that, that's fine. You know, nobody, whatever. I'm nobody. Um, but I was hoping that he wouldn't know who I was cause I just wanted to test out the instrument and not really have anybody bother me. So I'm, I'm trying out the mallet cat and not as sensitive as the Pearl Mallet Station. Nowhere near. If you take one thing away from what I'm saying between Mallet Cat and, and Mallet Station, the Mallet Station is light years more sensitive. Just piano is actually piano and Forte is actually Forte. Who would have thought? Um, just I can't even say how much better it was. So I'll, I'll be getting to more of that in the in the review. 
and I'll try and get in depth on that. I don't know if I'm going to get to that this week, honestly, with the beat video and the other stuff that I'm posting that might end up being next week. And also if I don't hear anything back about you know, questions and whatnot, I might give that some time. Um, I'm coming up on 15 minutes here now on the video. Um, if there's a couple of you who've been watching, I appreciate it. Thank you for checking it out. Um, maybe I'll do one of these streams once a month. Um, oh, the last part that I didn't talk about was I have a lot of footage for a vlog. I just have not edited it. <laughs> and, uh, I vlogged the whole basic trip. I vlogged the week before the week after I vlogged uh, a couple other trips that I took. Um, so there's definitely some content to post there. Um, I just, I've never, I've never done that before. And like I said, this is the first time I've ever even talked on a YouTube video. Um, and I, I want to do more. I want to be a YouTuber, I guess, if you could say that. I, I just, I want to get my music out there as much as possible. And if that means, you know, posting on YouTube every day to get the music out there, then that's, that's what that means. I, I don't want to be a YouTuber. I want to get my music out there. I'm a musician. Um, but if this is the means uh, to, to get it out there, then then I'm about it. Um, so if you've been sticking around, thank you very much for uh, listening. If you have a video that you want me to do, whether that's a song you want me to cover on Vibes or a beat you want me to play on, or if there's a Vibe beat thing or any any question at all about Vibe beat, Solo Vibe Monday, Mallet Station, Vibraphone, any of that good stuff, let me know down below. See, I can do that. I can do that, that move now because I have it down below now. Um, and uh, I, I'd love to hear any feedback. Uh, I'm going to take a listen back on this video and see you know, how the audio is, see how the video is. I'm going to be making some improvements as well. Like I said, this is my very first time ever doing anything like this. Uh, so thanks for sticking with me. Thank you for uh, watching my videos. Thank you for listening to my music. I really appreciate it. Like I said, I'm on iTunes, Spotify, YouTube, all that stuff. My name, Nathan Skinner, or the band's name, By Beat. You can look up, you can look up either of those. Vibe beat is V-I-B-E-A-T, sort of squished it into one word, vibe beat, put it together. Um, so yeah, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to posting more. Thank you very much. Um, I guess I'm going to start saying this now. Subscribe, I guess, you know, if, uh, if, uh, if Mallet Station stuff, uh, music production stuff, vibraphone, percussion stuff, jazz stuff, if any of that stuff interests you, subscribe and, uh, You'll find something that you like. Thanks, guys. Bye-bye.